Hello there, God bless you. Welcome to your daily Advent Inspirations with Laura. Today marks the first Sunday in the season of Advent. When I was younger, Advent meant a lot of things to me. It indicated that Christmas was around the corner. That is when we started singing songs like Christmas is coming, prepare to meet it, few days remaining, tra la 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 la, and of course, other beautiful Christmas carols. It also meant that very soon, mom was going to travel to Bamenda to buy our Christmas clothes and shoes. We would soon start baking and making a big batch of ching ching and donuts for Christmas. And yes, very soon my mom, my sisters and I would start making our classic toilet roll Christmas decorations. I loved them. And there was so much more. But... As I get older, I realize that there is more to Advent than just good music, decorations, and baking. So today, I invite you to join me on a journey of discovering what Advent really means. And I think maybe we begin by looking at the definition of Advent, right? So the Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines has two definitions for Advent. One of them is Advent without a capital A which means it is simply a coming into being or use. For example, the advent of spring, the advent of winter. The second one would be the advent with a capital A. And this is the period beginning four Sundays before Christmas, which is observed by some Christians as a season of prayer and fasting. And most often, advent would fall in the the last Sunday of November or the first Sunday of December, depending on, you know, the year or when Christmas would be that year. Now, how did Advent originate? When did this observance of Advent begin? My research showed me that it was first observed in the year 567, when monks were ordered to fast in preparation for Christmas. And this already gives us a hint on the true essence of Advent, which is preparing our hearts for the coming of Jesus. Now, how is Advent commemorated today? And how was it commemorated before? The first is the classical Advent calendars. I think we all know you know, you, you could have a, a, a paper box with 24 small windows. Most often you have chocolates in it. And uh, when you open the window, the chocolate falls out. And usually there would be a picture of something. In the early days, we, we would have pictures of maybe the nativity scene, baby Jesus, Mary, the shepherds, maybe a Bible verse or things like that. However, today, advent calendars are being used as just for commercial purposes. Many companies use advent calendars to advertise their product, selling more, get making more sales and things like that. Today, it has little or nothing to do with, act, with what Christmas actually is. The second way of commemorating advent is with the, the advent wreath with the four candles and each candle representing one Sunday. So today, the first Sunday of advent, the first candle is will be lit and i also learned that these candles have um, specific um, significance so the first candle which is today's candle represents the prophet isaiah and all the other prophets who announced the coming of our lord isaiah 40 verse 3 would say a voice of one calling in the wilderness prepare the way for the lord make straight in the desert a highway for the lord and that is what we are called to do throughout the advent season preparing our hearts preparing the way for the lord to come into our hearts to come into our homes the second candle which will be for next sunday represents the bible and we know that the bible points towards Jesus. The Bible points towards the word. So I think it's uh, the significance of this is just for us to turn to the Bible, meditate on the word of God as we prepare for the coming of our Lord. The third candle 
represents Mary and I included Joseph because I just think that Joseph comes with Mary and we remember what Mary said when the angel appeared to her and told her what was coming her way and she said behold I am the handmaid of the Lord may it be done to me according to your word in the same way during the season of season of Advent we too are called to surrender ourselves to surrender our will to surrender our desires to the will of God to give our yes to him in every situation so that he will mold us and transform us into the people he, you know we are meant to be into people who are ready to receive Christ into their hearts and the fourth and the last candle represents John the Baptist and again we go back to the verse from Isaiah which is also quoted in Luke 3 verse 4 when John the Baptist was asked who are you and he answered a voice of one calling in the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord make straight paths for him so that is again a reminder that advent is that season of preparation for us making the path straight for him another thing i learned was that in the catholic church during the season of advent the priest wears a purple vestment and we know that purple is a sign of repentance another season where this purple vestment is worn is during the season of lent now the most important question how can we celebrate advent this year I have a few suggestions on how you and I can make this Advent journey a little more meditative this year. Number one, read and meditate daily on the Word of God. There are so many reading programs, there are so many Bible reading programs. There, is, there are the daily Catholic readings which you can always read and meditate on every day. You can find those programs online, they are always available. The second thing would be fast. And when we say fast, um, we're not just talking about fasting from food, but you can also choose to fast from some bad attitudes or some, you know, from anger, from from gossip and all those things that will really, really um, mold you and transform you from the inside. Number three, you know, faith without works is dead right so do at least one act of love every day to help you detach yourself from your desires and reach out to others and number four make prayer and spending time with god a priority and if you if you have children if you're married of course involve your spouse involve your family you can join a prayer group there are so many prayer groups out here out there today you can start a novena or you can do a series of novenas since we have more than nine days in advent uh, another thing that i could you know i could suggest for you to do is to wake up maybe 30 minutes or one hour earlier than your usual time to pray you can also go for a walk there's just so many things that you could change in your program to make a little more time um, to spend in prayer and last but not least i would like to offer you this daily inspirations which i'm beginning today every day i will send out a little reflection with points to ponder with a little task for you and uh, my hope my prayer is that through these meditations we will be able to reflect a little more on what advent is and at the end of it all we will really really be ready to welcome our lord jesus again at christmas this year so think about this ask yourself how have i celebrated advent in the past years what did advent mean to me where has my focus been what can i change this year to make my advent journey more meaningful more meditative more contemplative what is your main takeaway from today's meditation and your daily task for today would simply be to do some research on Advent, you know, just go to the internet and read some articles on on Advent, on its origin, and then share your findings, share your, 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 your results with at least one person and invite that person to also join you on this journey. All right, that's it from me for today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, 
we thank you that you've blessed us to experience or to begin another advent journey father as we begin this journey this year i pray oh father that you will teach me the true meaning of advent i repent of the times i have missed the mark and gone in search of vain glory grant me the grace this year to rent my heart and not my garments so that i will be truly ready for your coming at christmas through christ our lord i've prayed in thanksgiving amen Thank you, dear brother. Thank you, dear sister. And I wish you a very, very wonderful Advent season. If you found this inspirational, please share with someone and invite a person to join us on this journey. Keep the fire burning. Bye-bye.